Okay, so as we're adding and subtracting polynomials, we are looking first at addition. Uh, we are going to be asked to be finding the sum of f of x and g of x. And then the difference. So if we have f of x minus h of x, we're using these here. Um, and we're going to write them as f of x is 9x squared minus 4x plus 2 minus h of x. And we're going to put this in parentheses to keep it what it is here with the subtraction sign in front of it. Just a reminder, when we have that subtraction in front, that means that there is an invisible one here. We want to make it visible, and we are going to distribute it to all three terms here. Once we've distributed, then we'll be worried about combining like terms, because right now we have 9x squared minus 4x plus 2. And this negative 1 times negative 2x squared is going to become plus 2x squared. Negative 1 times positive 3x will become a negative 3x, and that negative 10 is a positive 10 when we multiply it by the negative 1. We're looking here for like terms. This and this are like terms. This negative 4x is a like term with this negative 3x, and then we have 2 and 10 that are like terms. So we're going to combine those like terms by taking and lining these up underneath these here. So I'm going to line them up. I'm taking these terms and I'm moving them underneath here. And when I add that together, I'm going to get 11x squared negative 7x plus 12. And that is our solution. This one is saying find the sum of f of x and g of x. We have our f of x here, our g of x here. Sum means that we're adding them. Nine x squared minus 4x plus 2. And then I'm going to take my g of x, since I'm adding these two together, since I'm finding the sum, I'm just going to line them up underneath. 3x gets lined up underneath the negative 4x, and minus 1. And I'm going to add those together. This has no like term, so it stays as is. Negative 4x, positive 3x gives us negative x, plus 1. And there's our solution. And finally, we are being asked to find f minus g times x. So let's write this as 9x squared minus 4x plus 2 minus 3x minus 1. There's my f minus my g of x. These are both of x, so that's where that got combined. This will become negative 3x plus 1. And x squared minus 4x plus 2. I'm going to take the terms from what was our g of x. I'm going to line them up underneath their like terms here. And we're going to combine them. We get 9x squared minus 7x plus 3. And there's my solution.